once you know you have a function, you want to be able to know how to work with functions. So the first thing we're going to look at is function notation. So function notation looks like this. Now this reads f of x. f is the name of the function. And x is the what we call input variable. And so f of x is also the same as y. So f of x and y can be interchanged. So again, f is just the name of the function, x is the input variable, and y is the output variable. And so anytime you have a function, you know it's a function, you can write instead of y equal, you can write f of x equal. And so, and it means the same as y equal to whatever. So for instance, y equal 3x plus two, that's a line when you graph it. And if you was to do the vertical line test, it would pass the vertical line test. So that means it's a function. So you can see it written like this, y equal 3x plus 2. Or you can also see it written like this, f of x equal 3x plus 2. So y and f of x are interchangeable. So don't let that confuse you. So when you're asked to evaluate a function, what you want to do is replace the input variable with whatever it is you're inputting. How do you know what you're inputting? You're inputting what's inside those parentheses after the name of the function. So here I have a function, the name of it is h. So this reads h of x equal 4x minus three. So this is a function with the name h. x is the input variable. Remember the function h of x is the same as y. So this could also be written as y equal to 4x minus three. So if I wanna evaluate h of x equal 4x minus three, at one, h of negative three, and two h of zero that means i'm going to replace the input variable with negative three and zero respectively so for the first part part a notice that negative three is in the place of x wherever there was the x there's now negative three and so what you want to do is replace every x in your function with that negative three so x was here so now i'm going to replace that with a negative three and then you want to work it out, simplify it, and I always use or order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So four times negative three is negative twelve. Negative twelve minus three is negative fifteen, and so this means that h of negative three is equal to negative fifteen. So my input variable x was negative three, my output variable y was negative 15. So this is the equivalent of saying negative three, negative 15 as an ordered pair is a part of this function. So for part b, we wanna evaluate h of zero. That means wherever there was an x, now you wanna replace it with the zero. So what follows inside the parentheses is what you're replacing the input variable with. So that would be four times zero minus three. Four times zero is zero. Zero minus three is negative three. So that means h of zero equal negative three. And again, your input variable was x, which is zero, and your output variable is y, which is negative three. So that's the same as saying zero, negative three, that ordered pair is a part of this function, h of x equal four x minus three. And so that's how you evaluate the functions and numbers. Let's try another example. So example two, we wanna evaluate f of x equal three x squared plus two x. At first, we wanna do it at f of a. And then second, we wanna evaluate f of x plus h. So for the first one, part a, Pretty simple, wherever there was once an x, this is your input variable, you're gonna replace every x with an a. And so that now becomes three a squared plus two a. And you can't do anything with those a's, these can't be combined because this one has a square and this one doesn't. So you will leave it just like that. So this would be f of a. Now for f of b, I mean, or for part b, f of x plus h, now you want to replace every x with an x plus h. So there was an x here, replace that with the x plus h. And there was also an x here, you want to replace that with an x plus h. 
Now, this can actually be simplified. You want to first think about what is, or you want to work it out, what is x plus h squared? So I'm going to come over here and work out x plus h squared. That's x plus h times x plus h. Well, multiply that out. That's x times x, which is x squared. x times h, which is xh. h times x, which is hx. And h times h, which is h squared. Since multiplication is commutative, meaning a times b is the same as b times a, you flip it, it's the same. Then these two are the same, so they can be combined. So I'm going to write that as x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So this is what x plus h squared is equal to. So I'm going to come over here and replace x plus h squared with this right here. So I'm taking this and I'm plugging it in here. So that's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And I still have this 2 times x plus h over here. And so now I want to distribute. Distribute the 3. And that gives me 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared. And then distribute the 2 here. And that gives me 2x plus 2h. And you want to look to see if you can combine any like terms, which in this case, there are no like terms. This is the only x squared. This is the only xh. This is the only h squared. This is the only x, and this is the only h. So this would be your final solution. So your f of x plus h, let me write it all out again. Make sure you can see it. Your f of x plus h is 3x squared plus 6xh plus 3h squared plus 2x plus 2h and that will be the final solution so this is how you evaluate functions you want to replace the input variable with whatever is inside the parentheses so like here we wanted f of a here we wanted f of x plus h so wherever my input was which is typically x but it could be another variable um, you're going to replace whatever's in those parentheses with the x or replace x with whatever's in those parentheses um, if you have any questions make sure you put them in the comments below and again if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button and until the next time i will see you in the next video